Hello, I'm Aaron Bernstein. I run the UMFK Summer Theater Program. Our auditions are in just a couple of days, and in case you don't have time to read it, I'm going to very quickly tell you the story of The Tempest. There was a duke named Prospero. Prospero was a student of the magical arts. His brother really wants to steal the dukedom and rule in his place, so he conspires to take Prospero and his young daughter and send them out to sea in a nasty ship to drown and be gone forever. Prospero and his daughter Miranda survive. They wind up washing up on a tiny little rock-strewn island full of spirits. Prospero enslaves two of the spirits, one named Ariel and one named Caliban. Caliban is kind of a nasty sea monster creature. Twelve years pass, and then one night, a ship that just happens to contain all the people who conspired against Prospero goes really close to the island where Prospero shipwrecked. Prospero conjures up a gigantic storm and causes that ship to also crash. It's time for Prospero to get his revenge against those who conspired against them. He makes sure that when they wreck, they scatter all across the island and none of them know who's alive and who's dead. There was a handsome young prince on the ship that Prospero wrecked. He arranges for his daughter Miranda, who has never seen another man other than him, to meet the prince. This prince, whose name is Ferdinand, falls in love with Miranda right away. Meanwhile, lots of other conspiracies hatch, and Prospero gives the other prisoners on his island strange visions. Now, Prospero really wants to be a duke again, and you would expect that he would be vengeful and kill all the people who conspired against him and take the dukedom back by force, but he decides to forgive them, and after he messes around with them for a little while, he gets them all together in one place and reveals himself as Prospero, the duke who everyone thought was dead before. Needless to say, everyone was thoroughly freaked out that Prospero was still alive after he revealed himself, but he forgave everybody and arranged for everyone to get off the island, and he returned to his life as a duke, and his daughter Miranda married Ferdinand and would eventually become a queen. He also made sure to set his spirit slaves free, as he had promised to do before. I'm leaving an awful lot out of the story, but that's the basic shell of it. Enjoy, and we hope to see you at auditions.